Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial which is looking at using overlays in the Tone Mapping Persona. Now this came about because someone asked in one of the Facebook groups if there was any videos out there about this and I had a quick look and I couldn't see any and I'm not really surprised because Tone Mapping is not something that many people would probably use that often and also most videos you can find about overlays will be about the develop persona now the overlay system works pretty much the same in the tone mapping persona as it does in the develop persona but I will have a quick look at this it's not going to be vastly in depth and I'll try and make this as quick as possible and the other thing I want to say is I haven't yet looked at this on the iPad version but I would imagine the sort of the way it's done and how it works and what have you will be the same on the iPad as it is on my PC version which should be the same as the Mac version but when I do get around to having a look at the iPad I will sort of see if it is vastly different I will try and make a video for that version as well. So getting up to the different personas at the top here we are currently in the photo persona and if you move across you've got the liquify persona, develop persona and then the next one is the tone mapping persona. And the tone mapping will sort of help you turn sort of a single image into a sort of HDR type image it's probably oversimplifying it really but that's sort of pretty much what it does so this picture I took of some people walking their dog on at the beach um, if I click in the tone mapping persona it will just start doing its thing here and then down the left here we have some presets and you can click on the different presets to change the look of the image that you've brought into this persona and there's a drop down menu here where you get some other options like extreme and crazy and then some from G James Ritson and if I go back to the default settings so if you just click on one of these options say for example the high contrast black and white it will change that into the high contrast black and white for you and let me just bring this back to the neutral so that is basically how the, the tone mapping works you can use the presets to sort of get a different sort of HDR type looks but on the other side we have a set of controls here which you can adjust these presets using these controls here I'm not going to alter any at the moment but they are sort of basically they're available to make some alterations and then you could save that as a new preset using this menu option up here now the other tab that you have over here is overlays and this is the bit that we're going to be having a look at because these options here will sort of affect the whole image whereas using overlays you can sort of localize where the alterations are going to take place so master is the overall image and then again like the develop persona you have two options where you can brush in a localized area or you can use a gradient so I'm going to click on the brush and then as you hopefully you can see that the cursor is this big round circle with the cross in the middle and you do have the option to change the size of the brush and the hardness of the brush and whether it's edge aware um, so I'm just going to put a quick edge aware and I'm going to just paint on let me, what hardness are we on here 50% I'll leave it on that I'm just going to uh, maybe edge where I'll take that off it's taking too long 
it's much quicker so it won't be as precise as as I probably would have done if I was doing this properly but I'm going to just quickly go around these people here and the end result will be pretty horrible I freely admit but it will demonstrate how this is only going to affect the areas that are painted in red so the people and the dogs if I reduce the brush size I might be able to get that bit down the, between them like that and like I said this is just a bit rough and ready if I was doing this properly I would take more time over it so that is sort of how I painted over the area and then if I then click on one of these presets say the black and white again everything that I painted over is now black and white and the areas I want to keep as they were are still in color so I've missed a bit up there so I can you can still paint over the areas now that you can see them better because we've still got this particular overlay highlighted and that is the sort of brush option so I'll leave that like that so you can either cancel or apply if you like the result so I'm just going to cancel that to come back to, to this image and then I'll start on another image which again which is the beach where I live so if I come to again tone mapping persona wait for it to just quickly tone map the area let me just center this and this time we're going to have a look at the gradient um, so again I'm going to click on the gradient overlay and then I'm just going to sort of draw out a gradient like this and at the moment it is currently set on elliptical and you have linear or radial I think by default it normally is linear but because I practiced with this a bit early with elliptical it has remembered that and brought up elliptical again because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over that sun and just bring that in a bit and then there is I think it's in extreme no it might I know it's in one of these crazy it might be yeah say like end of trays default so that is only affecting the area there so it's only really affecting that sun area using that gradient so if I come back to the master and I add another gradient overlay and that's how I'll draw this up from the bottom and I will change this to linear now and I'll come back to I think it's defaults and let's try dramatic so if I bring this right down that is without the dramatic overlay and that is with the dramatic overlay you can also turn it on and off by this eye icon so you can see what effect that is having so this gradient overlay is only affecting the sort of lower half of the picture and the other gradient overlay is only affecting the sun because it is an elliptical gradient whereas this is a linear gradient and then sort of another demonstration of this is the black and white version of the same picture and so again if I go to the tone mapping persona and we will do the same thing with the overlays 
but this time I'm going to do a gradient and linear overlay coming down from the top and we'll make this the call so it's a sort of much bluer tint to that black there and if I come back to master and add another gradient and this time come from the bottom and one of these somewhere is a sort of very yellow probably on the crazy one there we go crazy let's try that there yeah so just bring this up a little bit more so I've got this yellowy tint on the bottom of the picture and the bluer tint on the top of this black and white picture so basically that's a very quick look at how you can use the overlays in the tone mapping persona which is very similar to the develop persona and sort of the other thing that you can do with this is because you have made these adjustments you can then make alterations so you don't have to stick with these settings and because this is currently on this overlay here it should only affect what happens on this overlay so if I alter the contrast in this particular case it's having no effect what is going to have an effect let's try the white balance it, might, it doesn't seem to be having any vast effect try the exposure this could be hopefully more noticeable no see that's strange because in the develop persona you can sort of the alterations you make within the certain gradients or brushing will then allow you to make alterations this doesn't seem to be letting me do that so maybe this might be something I've done wrong or it's just not available within the tone mapping persona or maybe I should have made the alterations before oh there you go it might be because I got it turned off there you go that is a mistake easily made um, so if I come back to this as you can see the effects or the alterations I make are only happening to the particular overlay that you are on it will not affect the overlay I have up here nor is it affecting the master which is the only really area that the master is in is this top corner here because the bottom is being affected by the lower overlay and the sun is being affected by a different overlay so that is the only alteration if I come back to the master and then I make some alterations it should pretty much just affect well you do have an overall effect yes so probably a bit sort of went a bit wayward at the end there of it which I apologize for but it just goes to show how easy it is to make the mistake of turning off a layer to see what the effects have happened and forgetting to turn it back on again so hopefully this doesn't distract from the overall message of this video so thank you for watching and goodbye